Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today we're going to be looking at the definition of operating margin, or uh, also known as the operating profit margin. As I do in each one of these fundamental analysis tutorial videos, I'll give you the actual definition, then we'll go on to look at an example and give you a little more insight. Operating margin is a measure of a company's profitability and how well that company controls its costs. Operating margin gives analysts an idea of how much a company makes before interest and taxes on each dollar of sales. It is calculated by dividing a company's operating income by its revenue and expressing the result as a percentage. A healthy operating margin, the larger the better, is required for a company to pay its fixed costs, such as interest on debt. Okay, I'm now on the Yahoo Finance page. I'm going to be looking at the income statement for JP Morgan and Chase and Company. This is where you're going to find the information. It will be on the income statement. And you can find the income statement for any particular publicly traded company almost anywhere from Google Finance to uh, your discount brokers. And within the annual report, the company that you own uh, sends you in many different places. Uh, right now, the main thing to point out is again that you will find it on the income statement. What we're doing is taking the operating income, it's right here. It's, uh, I should say operating income or loss. Right now, it's a, it's a income, and then you can simply divide that number by the total revenue or the net sales. Uh, same thing. Uh, so when you, when you do that, you will find it's 35 percent, 34.3 divided by 97.2, roughly 35 percent there. Uh, what you can do with this, a uh, uh, main thing to know is a, a high or increasing operating margin is preferred. Because if the operating margin is increasing, the company is earning more per dollar of sales. Uh, an operating margin can be used to compare a company with its competitors and with past performance of, within the company. Uh, what you don't want to do with it is take a bank, which is in one industry, and analyze it and say, hey, you got 35%, that's really great. And then turn around and compare that with a company in a completely different industry, which may have a, a, a lot uh, lower uh, operating margins. So keep in mind that you want to compare it with any industry. You can use it to compare industries amongst each other and say, okay, well, this industry has got a, a better uh, average operating margin than this industry, but you don't want to be jumping from one company in this industry to another company in this industry and say, oh, well, this company's got a higher profit margin, ergo, they are uh, a better company. That's not, that's not necessarily true. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, the main thing you want to be doing with this is actually analyzing its uh, against the historical data of the company. You can learn a lot that way. In this particular case, we just showed you you had 34.3, and we divide that by 97.2, we get 35%. Uh, so we know that 35% uh, of every dollar of sales that the, the company is, is actually retaining at this point. Uh, I say at this point because we haven't gotten all the way down through the income statement yet, but at this thus far, it's retaining a large portion of it. Uh, yet, if we look here, the previous year, you can see it's 41.4. Uh, divide that by the total revenue of that year, 102, and you'll find that, that at that point it was 40%. So those margins are actually being squeezed at this point. We can see that uh, from one year to the next, they're decreased. They're going the wrong direction. For uh, We would like it to see it go the other way. Um, but uh, then you have to ask yourself, is this only happening with this particular bank, or is this happening to the entire industry? Uh, those two things could make a world of difference. If it's happened to the whole industry, not much you can do there other than figure out why it's happening to the entire industry. Typically, in this particular case, you're going to be looking at a situation where there's new government uh, standards and regulations, things of that nature. Um, but if you're looking at a situation where the other peers in the group are not seeing this contraction uh, of the operating margin, then um, perhaps uh, the company you're looking at that is seeing that contraction is starting to lose its edge, so to speak, or starting to let its costs get a little bit out of control. There's different ways to look at it, but uh, it's something you should definitely keep an eye on. One more item I'd like to know. The operating margin is a very valuable tool. It can give you a really good insight on how efficient the company is, the management is. It also should be noted that it comes into play, let me move this up here a little bit. It comes into play on the income statement uh, and excludes certain items. They haven't actually gotten to those uh, situations yet, which will be non-recurring events mainly. And that basically means they need discontinued operations if they sell branches or something like that. Or extra uh, extraordinary items if they were to win a lawsuit, some of that nature, uh, effects of counting uh, uh, changes, things like that. Uh, these are ways that companies sometimes will boost their earnings, but it'll be a one-time boost. You want to look more at the core business, what's really um, 
as an investor when you buy into that company it's not what they did before that one-time boost doesn't really help you a lot it's the future especially for long-term investors it's the future of the company which is going to really come from the core of the business and that's why we look again at the operating margin because it's, it's really analyzing the core of the business the operating Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit, loss, or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.